Hey friends, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new here, I'm Chanel. I'm your resident movie watcher BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we're gonna watch movies together, and I'm gonna let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them. And we like to call out filmmaker elements because it's really, really fun for me, and hopefully it's fun for you. And if it's not, you're gonna call me annoying in the comments. So you might wanna click off now. I don't know. Don't mean to scare you away or anything. I know I'm kinda scary, but <laughs> goddamn, these riffs are getting worse and worse. Guys, today I just want to start, um, today's video is going to be Man on Fire. I believe it is from the year 2005, 2004, 2004, Man on Fire. Oh my God. Okay. I think that on the channel, if anything has happened for me, it's I've grown to appreciate an action film more than I used to. I used to really hate them. I find action sequences really boring. I'm like, tick tock, let's go. But we've had some great, great action movies on the channel. We saw Die Hard, which was like, ugh. I love Die Hard and saw Die Hard 2 and Terminators and blah, blah, blah. So I felt really comfortable to say, I think Man on Fire is going to rock. I don't think we've had any Denzel on the channel, which is a tragedy and a half. And the fact that this is directed by Tony Scott, who I'm almost certain did Top Gun, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I remember when this movie was coming out in theaters because I was a huge Dakota Fanning fan at the time. Dakota Fanning fan. I was obsessed with her because I wanted to be a child star, if you don't know this about me. And I was like, she is me. I am as talented as Miss Fanning, <laughs> which is not true. But I thought it was true. So, oh my God, Denzel, Christopher Walken, and Dakota Fanning, and Mark Anthony. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. So this is the point in my video where we're just going to thank the members who sit on the $15 tier on Patreon because you're on that tier. If you're on that tier, uh, you get a special shout out in every single one of my videos. Okay, the names are getting cooler, I gotta say. Also known as Smoking Coffee, Josh, Jim, Brian, Jay, Sonic Paintbrush, Dennis, Kenneth, Ramy, Simon, Ubi Relder, Skeeter, Simplexity, Muggy, DJ Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Gourney, Gavin, Reef, Ethan, Tom B, Hemi, Chonga, David, Brewinkle, Brian, Sean, Grismore, Daniel, Jason, and Moto Dork. Woohoo! That's so many. That's so many. That's 32. That's a lot. Okay. Um, you know the drill for me. If you want more from me, my Patreon's in the description box below where you can join those people that I just named and see about some other cool perks. But on that note, let's just get right into Man on Fire from 2004. <laughs> What did we say? Mexico City? I don't remember. <laughs> when your attention span is Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> I love Tony. Why does this feel like the opening of Minority Report? With the glitchy, glitchy, memory looking flashes. All right, hit me with the facts. Jesus Christ. Tell me you jumped there. Man on fire. <laughs> Dakota was like kind of a name already. She's built above Christopher Walken. Okay, Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Didn't hate that. I love him. Oh, Zoom. What? Documentary style Zoom? Have we talked about guys, friends at home that Denzel went to my, my school? He went to Fordham. That's where I went. My grandma was his crossing guard. If uh, I ever meet Denzel one day, I'm going to ask him if he remembers her. He probably doesn't. <laughs> I got to call my grandma. <laughs> Where my mind just went. I was gonna say there you're living the high life. Why? I'm gonna see you, Ray. See how you're doing. Came by on impulse. I could do with some impulse. Then they sent the kid home after a couple of days, minus a, an ear, of course. I hate to break it to you, but she's right. <laughs> she's right. Ah, oh, it's like a whole business. But you gotta please Lisa. I mean, ass like that's hard to find. 
Leave my wife's ass out of this. You can do this. You get one that's got a, a decent resume. We're not looking for a goddamn Superman here, right? Get someone cheap. And fire the prick for whatever. Competence. You have to keep it under control. And what if there was, you know, just say uh, a kidnapping attempt? What do I do then? You do your best. I'm looking at this like docu-cam and trying to think, okay, surveillance, it's that. That's the feeling. Take a job, Grease. Breathe some air. Then decide if you want to stick around or not. Besides, I'm glad to see him. You know, I got nobody to talk to. Is his name Crease? This is a guy who needs to be persuaded to take a job. Classic movie. Your resume is quite impressive. 16 years of military experience, extensive. What's the catch? I drink. How does that affect you? I'm drunk. <laughs> if professionals try to kidnap your daughter, I'll do the best I can, but the service will be on par with the pay. No one is to know about your drinking. That includes my wife. Love that reaction shot. I, don't, I feel so amazed by it because I wonder if I was the director if I would have thought to do that. Would you guys have thought to get his reaction in the rear view? I guess you would because you're like in a car. Okay, so we saw the two parties. One guy needs a bodyguard on the cheap. One guy wants out. <laughs> My wife Lisa, and this is John Creasy. What up, Lee? Hey, girl. Honey, this is uh, Mr. Creasy. This way, Mr. Creasy. Okay. Crease. I love this. There are secrets. There's information to be found out. Strong, it's so strong. That's Maria the cook. Hola, Maria. Hola, Peter. Get it, girl? Dakota Fanning learned some Spanish for this. I don't know. Can we get that parrot out, though? Have you protected a lot of children before, Mr. Creasy? Bye, bird. She's so freaking endearing. It's so annoying. If you get a dog, will you give up your bear? You're getting too old for him. Don't be ridiculous, Mom. Some floss in the morning. Floss? Yeah, the strawberry kind. I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys, n props to not take a look at this girl's mouth. She has so many gaps in her teeth. There is no need for floss. <laughs> Does she have gaps? I have to look. So do you think they chose the glitchy cam too because he might be impaired all the time? Like he's kind of a little drunk at all times? Business. A Toyota for Ford. The color is gorgeous. It's very warm. Look at all the skin tones. They're super warm. Peter likes him. Peter loves school. Peter would love Count Dracula if he took it back there. Honey. Okay. I don't know, Lisa. Gorgeous. Look at that shot. Color, the silhouette. Yeah. Lucky dude. Home to Emilio, you're home free, baby. Good looks. I would have done that. Birds are so annoying. <laughs> Hope he's okay, genuinely, but bye. Is that bird going to come back? Or are we going to get a Forrest Gump feather moment at the end of this? That bird flies back. Ugh. 24? 24. What do you think about that, Chrissy? I think that you know entirely more than you should. Well, thank you. She's my little uptown girl's Dakota. I love her. She's so smart. Senor Chrissy. Hurry. Class is about to begin. Okay. Oh. Bye, Chrissy. When does this go down? During school? Get it. I feel like if I won over a nun, I would feel so good about myself. I'd be like, yup, I'm great. What happened to your hand? It's a birth defect. No, it's not. Look, no more questions, okay? It's almost as if they're shooting through the window instead of being in the car with them. And I need to shut up. Look at me. I'm not being paid to be your friend. I'm being paid to protect you. So no more questions. That's it, period. I'm gonna cry. I don't like getting talked down to. <laughs> Wait a minute. Babe, babe, is she kidding? She knows how dangerous this is. Oh, okay, just backseat, just backseat. Okay, okay, all right, fake out, just fake out. It's okay, Chanel, it's okay. You're all right. <sighs> this is so great because you know what's coming. 
The anticipation's killing me. Fine. As soon as she figures out that I'm not her new toy, it'll be yeah. fine. She told me about that. Did you see that rack focus in the mirror instead of doing reverse shot right here? That was cool. Tony Scott got style. I'll be coming with you tomorrow. I hope that's all right. Ugh, he's so crusty. We need to warm him up. No, he didn't do that. There's no shot. Then we don't have a movie. <laughs> you guys see all the blue and teal? Wow. Teal and orange, blue and teal. It's a really common color palette. We saw it in Mad Max. We've seen it time and time again. Did you ever have a, a nine millimeter round that didn't go off? Oh, yeah. Failure to fire. fire. I know. Failure to fire. And, and... Did that just happen? A bullet always tells the truth. He taking down the plates. I'm getting panicky in a good way. You're a strong swimmer. I never win. Oh, I never win. Get faster off the block. Get faster off the blocks. Guys, they're shooting on the other side of the window, right? Like, that's the reflections I'm catching. It's like, we're never really in. He's back. How do you think he got out? <laughs> <laughs> Better to be free, right? Better for him. They're so cute. This is so cute. The gunshot holds no fear! Louder! You welcome the sound. <laughs> Obsessed with the lessons. What's a concubine? <laughs> it's in my history book. Oh. It's like a wife. Right? Uh, yeah. It's, uh... Uh. Different rules. Why, you feel sorry for the husband? Yeah, can you imagine my mom multiplied by a thousand? <laughs> Script was written by a man. You were smiling. No. You were? No, I was not. You're not now, but you were. No, you were smiling. I wasn't you smiling. You were. When? Like five seconds ago. You smiled already. See, you did. <gasps> no, that wasn't a, that was a smirk. The relationship is going to get him to fight. Do you have a girlfriend, Creasy? What? Do you have a <laughs> Oh. Let's be studying history, okay? That is history. Creasy history. No, that's ancient history. No more questions. What, what else? was your very first girlfriend? They're taking their time with this movie, the pacing. I thought she'd be gone by the first act. We are in the second act, and she's not gone yet. 10.99. Yes! Which tells me this is more of a relationship movie than it is kidnapping movie. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Did he have a kid maybe that he lost and that's why he is so affected? Guessing. Come on, Dakota Fanning. I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Can I kiss her? Then? Absolutely. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're all buddies. Buy it with my own money. I have so many chills. It's St. Jude, patron saint of lost causes. The 
colors in this movie are so beautiful too. Does she get him to be better? Maybe he pours it? I don't want to play piano, I want to swim. It's not open for discussion, honey, okay? Throw the audition, Dakota. I just want what's best for you, you know? Okay. Okay. Good talk, Dad. You wanted the license number off of that car. And I wrote it down in my notebook. I got it all but the last number. Really? Can you belch? Can you belch like Burke? Can you All right, you belch every few minutes while you're practicing. Okay. You apologize to him, but you keep belching. You'll offend every sensibility he has, right? Okay. You'll be back in the pool in 24 hours, I guarantee you. Right, Sam? If she makes it 24 hours in this world. Hola, pizza. Hola. hola. Pasale. Bye. Bye. Cuánto tiempo. Pizza. We can hear it. That's so funny. Oh, he is being blocked in, right? Pizza. Go back inside, babe. Go back inside. Go back inside. The cops? So they're they're corrupt too. They're helping. I wonder if she just couldn't go back into piano lessons though. Run, run, Pita. You gotta run, girl. You can't go to him. She's gonna get taken. No, babe. <sighs> but they got the plate, right? Oh my god, he's under arrest? What the fuck? This is crazy. This is like not really an action movie like I thought. W. Chris, ciudadano norteamericano, está bajo arresto por el asesinato de dos... They took the fucking girl. How? It's a frame job. God. The officers were little bitches. That's what I'm saying. Ugh. I'm so mad. Amen. At least the journalists know that they are corrupt. So we're pushing back a little. I hope the parents believe him right away. I'm sure they do, but I'm not sure. I'm sure they do, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, Chanel. Show me, show me Creasy. Bust him out of there, Christopher Walken. Oh, when I heard it was this hospital. There is a pastry shop nearby. They have the best pastries in Mexico. I was like, McDonald's? <laughs> it looked like a Happy Meal. Peter, it's been two days. They're negotiating a ransom. But the car will not be powerful. Remove the trunk lid. Use the maids. I don't know how you negotiate these things, guys. I'm like, so like, how do you get away with this? Two times. Samuel will remove his shirt and hold it out the window to ID the car. Victoria Beckham? I don't know who that was. Then return to your car. Do not look back. Okay, I'm loving the plan so far. Where's my daughter? Don't look back. If you keep your word, I will keep mine. Vamos. You betrayed me. You killed my nephew. Por favor, no le haga daño a mi niña. Get the out of my fucking house now! 
I love how quickly that all happened, how it all sort of moved for me. The storytelling was really lovely. We didn't have to really live it. We got to hear voiceover and we got to see flashes of it. And thank you so much um, for like summarizing too. the voiceover saying, you betrayed me. No Lupita. Creasy is about to wake up and be so pissed. She's dead. Dead, Crease. No. Why? What? Somebody hijacked the drop. And, uh... It's not true. It's definitely not true. Or he's going to just go get vengeance and kill the guy who killed PETA. <gasps> Does she die? Wow, this movie really takes its time in a very beautiful way. We are not, we're not rushing through anything. Not a single moment. Am I crying today? <laughs> I'm really interested in his past too, you guys. We've seen the scars on his hand. We don't know much about him. They've put a curse on you. Huh, you're a little late. What are you going to do? Light some candles, get a cauldron, and curse him back. <laughs> <laughs> protects high-ranking government officials, corrupt police, and organized crime at a level that is too difficult for me to reach. <sighs> You're a stranger, you know? That's right. You're going to need friends that know their way around. Tony Scott loves a dancing camera. You see this? It is a moving. I'm done killing. I told you that. Okay. Anything else? Can you help me? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm done killing. Can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> Her cursive is typewriter status, and she loves him. <laughs> My own baby. <sighs> this is so sad. What I do best, I'm gonna kill him. Anyone else involved, anybody who profits from it, anybody who opens their eyes at You kill them all. You kill them all. Here we go, friends. Vengeance movie. I feel so sad. And you want to help him identify the owner of a car for him? So just to be clear, none of this is legal, right guys? Like zero, zero percent of this. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, you guys. That was almost that was almost another spit take from me. It's me there. Right. Okay. Let's polish these guys off quickly. Let's f go. Let's kill them. I'm ready. <sighs> okay. Oh, 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 okay. Cigarette lighter. Hmm? Le dicen la voz. La voz. Who is it? Come on. Está seguro? <laughs> Don't make me say it. I'm loving the style here. The cuts. The music. The flashes. Hablo medio de los guardianes. Yo sí soy profesional, cabrón. Hago mi trabajo nada más. The song. Maybe this will spark your memory. Okay, my friend. So after the next life for you, I guarantee you, you won't be lonely. Revenge is a meal best served cold. Dish best served cold. I'm thankful everyone in this world wears different sunglasses because uh, that's how I'm identifying them right now. <laughs> Start talking, people. You're American, right? And so are you. Yeah. Get out of here. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. You from New Jersey? <laughs> yeah. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Jersey to Jersey. It's, it's uh, 4747. 4747. Four, seven. Four, seven. 
This is a great location for this because it's so loud. He's getting away with it. He said some fucking crook cop took it. Who? Fuentes. Fuentes. Yeah, that's him. Hey, goodbye. Nighty night, corrupt Richard Simmons. Sleepy time. I love this. He's getting his answers. You're not safe too, babe. No, pero te doy la niña. Pero te doy la niña. What? 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 No way. No way. Different girl. Uh, I was gonna say. I'm having a hard time seeing what's happening when it's told in flashes like that. Get out, everybody. Time to run. Chrissy, he's better protected than the president of Mexico. He's gonna need it. You gonna take care of her? Yes. Well, how can I find you? I'll find you. Taking care of business. F love Creasy. Do we get a Man on Fire 2? Is there a sequel? There should be a sequel to this. He should have a franchise like Die Hard and Taken. This is my jurisdiction. Is it? <laughs> she showed him it was all right to live again. Cue the soundtrack. Creasy's art is death. He's about to paint his masterpiece. I'd believe him if I were you, buddy. I love that. Creasy's art is death. <gasps> they sleep together again. <laughs> well, as long as she's enjoying herself. las cuentas ligadas a esta tarjeta. Okay. Número secreto 47. He's like, I think I just got used. Hmm. I don't know if I know what that's going to be. A machine gun? Huge gun? I don't know. Forgiveness is between them and God. It's my job to arrange the meeting. That's a good line. My job to arrange the meeting. Have fun in hell. You won't be lonely there. Good lines. Yeah, car explosion. Bye. <sighs> this is so gripping. I like this so much better than a classic non-stop action movie. She showed him what it's like to live again. Huh? You wanna tell me what happened? I'm the president of the Hermandad Pendejo. Mm, getting close. They stick it in their body. They tuck it up their rectum. You put them all together, you got a bomb. That's what you have in your ass right now. <laughs> I was wondering why he was explaining it so well. What's up your behind right now? <laughs> so, I'm going to send you... Phoning your butthole. <laughs> oh, God. Four minutes and 30 seconds. I, I, I don't know him. You don't know but you're the president. How paper, the other only <laughs> paper. Whoever did it took it before the exchange. What? Somebody else got there first? Rem's lawyer, Jordan Kalfus. Jordan Kalfus? Yeah. Did he skim? <gasps> I wish you had more time. Yes, blow him up, boom. Man on fire walks away. <gasps> <sighs> now go fuck up that lawyer, please. Oh. <gasps> Someone already got to him? Be careful, Chris. The two were in cahoots. Yay, give her an update. What's going on? 
That's what I want to know. What is going on? Yeah. You make one sound. I'll snatch the life right out of you, you understand? Am I in on what? You know what I'm talking about. Peter's kidnapping or death. Were you a part of it or not? No, you have a wife. You tell me what happened. You I inherited tell me what happened to my Jordan. baby. Say it. Say it. She is so great. Uh, such a good performance. I agree to the kidnapping. I did it for us. For the three of us. Let's just give the daughter, my daughter, the trauma of her lifetime. Slash maybe kill her for five whatever, million whatever. This is crazy. That's for you. I'm leaving that for you. Bullet always tells the truth. Thought you'd be playing, car watching cartoons and playing games for two days? Get out of here, buddy. Pop. Done. I don't know if I'd be happy or sad about that as this actress. Mi gente entró a su casa. Let's go. Kill this guy. No. No. Other thing. Pick up today's paper and you'll have a picture of the voice. The flashes, man. I'm like, what's happening? So even if the drop went off perfectly, they still would have been under the money. They still would have had not enough money. So it still might have been a bad time, but maybe she wouldn't have been killed immediately. They would, like, after they counted. I don't know. My mind is trying to just figure this out. What is he wearing? Is that a cowboy's jersey? Oh, it's not cowboys. It says rich girls. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, does it say Rutgers? Is it hmm? Yeah. Give me a name, babe. Daniel Rosa Sanchez. <laughs> Sí. Sí. ¿Cómo lo encuentras? Le mandamos un mensaje a su viper. Let's go. Get him on the line. Ring, ring. Your brother wants to speak to you. Yeah, hold on. Shut up! Ugh, I hate that he has to do this. I hate that he has to do this to the family. I will give you a life for a life. <laughs> Whose life are you talking about? What are you talking about? Whose life, Daniel? Your life. What? And in exchange. A girl dead is it's worth nothing. She's alive. <sighs> this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. To tell me what she called her bed. There you go. Chrissy. She calls the bear Chrissy. We saw that in the diary. I give you your brother, you give me the girl. All right. What about his wife with the, with child? <laughs> that that feels like a little bit of a two for one. Hello. Lisa, listen to me. Don't hang up. I think Peter's alive. I couldn't. I can't wait to see her performance of this. Oh my gosh! I've been so excited to see her reaction. I'm panicking. Wow, this movie's really special, you guys. This is really special. As his brother, mm -hmm. get Peter. Anything goes wrong, you put it to his head. That is who he called as his cover? I guess she has good reason. You'll be all right. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> We're 
we're not going to know about his past, really, but this is making up for whatever it was. Come on, show me this little blonde babe. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh my god. Good payoff, good payoff, good payoff. You all right? I didn't hurt you. Okay, you go home. Okay. Where are you going? A life for a life. No. No. I got the last number too. I love you, Chris. Her journal and the license plate. You love me, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is so sad. No, I don't want him to die. Now get in the car and hide or something. <laughs> Whoa, those performances. Oh my god. <laughs> he feels like he has to pay or something. Past meets present. <laughs> They should have shot the brother anyway. <laughs> they better not show Peter's face when he dies, because I will die. No. It's a sacrifice. <laughs> They're showing us her face. <laughs> this movie is so fucking stupid. <sighs> I thought they were going to kill him right then and there. Is this real? This isn't real, right? <laughs> no. Who fucking suggested this? Hell, you're going to hell. All of you. I'm just kidding, I loved it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Man on freaking fire. Man on fire from 2004. I have now seen it. Holy God, you guys. What the f man? That was so epic. Like, I don't really know what words to use. That was a freaking sprawling epic. Two and a half hours. Just so good. So well done. So well executed. The way it's put together. Those flashes. Like... Tony Scott had a vision, man, because I could see me getting the script for this and not doing what Tony Scott did at all. I could see myself just shooting this really plain, very in real time, very dramatic. And it's like he put this movie together in flashes, in memories, in scraps, in surveillance footage, in f flashes of images. Like he put this movie together like a freaking scrapbook. And it is so effective. It's crazy effective. And just, I put so much style, just so much style in this. And it's a great script. It's a killer story. And this movie, and I'm, have, this is one of those confident things I'll say on the channel. This would be nothing without those performances. I needed to believe that Dakota Fanning loves Creasy, loves him with all her heart. And she does. So when that reuniting happens, 
it's like she's so happy. It's the it, the stakes are just the highest they could possibly be, and the performances are the best. I need to believe that Denzel Washington loves her so much, and I will also give it to Mom. I need to get her name because I'm unfamiliar. Um, Rada Mitchell. She just those performances, those three, Dakota, Denzel, and Rada they make this movie have the impact that it has it's i'm this is my opinion obviously but this movie has no impact without that and i freaking stand by that that was so good i really like this movie the script is amazing budget i'm gonna be useless here is this a 50 million dollar movie i don't know they did take it to mexico city 70 million dollar movie let's just go do some trivia we love trivia Ooh, most of the scenes between Denzel and Christopher Walken were completely improvised. That's cool. So it's just like, give us a little bit of like conversational best friendship there. Oh my gosh, there's an original Man on Fire from 1987. Wow. Denzel was so impressed with Dakota Fanning's acting, he'd watch her and forget he was in the scene. That's how I feel about Dakota Fanning. She is so smart. She's so at the top of her intelligence. And she is so like cerebral and just like there. She's not self-conscious. And I think this is her age. And she's not afraid to love. And to be that young and to be to have the capacity that she has for those types of feelings to me is pretty crazy. Because I don't think I could have pulled this off when I was her age. There's no way. All oh, the accusing each other of smiling scene with the concubine ask was mostly ad-libbed. That's so cute. Denzel spent 10 days with advanced weapon speshing, weapons training specialist to prepare for the role. Rada Mitchell was intimidated when she first met Dakota Fanning. I want to meet her when she's 25. I think she's going to knock everybody out. Yeah, who is Rada? She's so good. Yeah, I haven't seen much from her. She deserves a lot more parts. She should, she should be in everything. Mexico City police told Tony Scott his crew was targeted for kidnapping. Several crew members were robbed at gunpoint. Oh, God. Dakota Fanning wrote everything in the diary herself. Okay, so her handwriting was real. Oh, an early version of this script was set in Naples, Italy. Mexico City became the setting mainly because it had an extraordinarily high kidnapping rate. Yeah, they said if they did use Italy, it would have to be a period piece because by the 2000s, kidnappings were rare in Italy. Okay, so though not mentioned in the film, John Creasy was a forced recon marine prior to working for the CIA, and we know that from his resume. Tony Scott wanted people to experience this movie like a jigsaw puzzle. I did feel like it was super PC and fragmented, but it all came together super beautifully. And it's um, it's in order. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's start to finish. It's not like it's random. Creasy's line, Revenge is a meal best served cold, which we've heard before. That's not from this movie. Is a modified version of the original Klingon proverb, Revenge is a dish best served cold. Quentin Tarantino, a huge Star Trek fan, used this quote at the beginning of Kill Bill, Volume 1, Another Revenge Story. Oh yeah, I wanted to say that. This is a revenge story. I thought this would be more of an action movie, like a go get em type movie, um, very diehard. Uh, you know, get A to B and get her back. But this was revenge. This is a revenge movie. And they do bury the reveal that she's alive, which, oh, it's so effective for me personally. There's not too many trivia pieces in here. Oh, this is based on a novel and has a bit of a different ending. Whoa, there's a deleted scene showing Samuel cutting off his lawyer's head with the sword. Okay, I think I might have just put together now that Samuel did the lawyer in what two sex scenes were filmed this is the most insane trivia ever but then cut one was between creasy and lisa and the other between lisa and her husband creasy does not get with lisa oh my god whoa wow whoa whoa whoa. okay um i feel really good about that trivia section so um you've now seen my reaction to man on fire from 2004 so i want to hear from you where were you what were you doing when you first caught this movie and what did you think please comment that below if you want more from me Obviously, I always say this, no pressure, but my Patreon is in the description box below. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It really supports me and the channel. And on that note, I'm going to go eat.